Hi guys, Becca C. Smith here, and today I actually want to talk to you about my top three writing apps that I use to organize my novels. So I know a lot of you guys probably have your own process and the way that you organize or outline your novels. These are just the top three apps that I use a lot. You may have already heard of them, but you ha if you haven't, you should definitely check these out. My number one is called Eon Timeline. Now Eon Timeline I, I use specifically for mapping out dates because my, my teen book Riser it takes place 300 years in the future, so a lot has happened in the last 300 years. Laws have been passed, events have happened that have shaped the world in this utopic dystopia. It feels like utopia, but when you dig deep into the world, you realize it's actually dystopian. I need to keep straight in my head all these dates and I'm not good with dates in my own life, so why would I think I'd be great at dates? <laughs> in my stories. So I that is one of the reasons why I'm an outliner and that is the number one reason why Eon Timeline is amazing. I could show you briefly on my screen here. This is how you can organize the dates. So you can see everything in one big timeline and this makes it very easy for me to reference certain dates when I'm trying to remember when certain things happen. It's very easy to use. You could just add an event and you can add all the details. You can add notes to it. You can you can do whatever you want to keep everything straight and it keeps it all in one organized timeline. My friend Faith and I, have, I've talked about my, my one of my writing partners, we also have a book series that takes play, I mean one of the characters is 3,000 years old and one of the other characters every 500 years is awakened. So these are things that we definitely need to map out because we cannot remember 3,000, 300 years is hard enough for me. 3,000 years is intense. So we have an Eon timeline that we can share, which is very nice, it's a good feature. You can share timelines with each other. So that is my number one for organizing dates and times and things that happen. You can also organize everything this way if you want to. You can organize your, your notes, you can organize anything you want. But for me specifically, I like to use it for dates. So number two, I'm sure every single one of you is familiar with this one, Scrivener. Now I know I kept hearing, oh my God, you have to use Scrivener, you have to use Scrivener, it's so amazing, it's so amazing. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I just, I just use Word. Word works for me. <laughs> I'm a simple girl. But I finally decided to try and tackle Scribner and okay, I'm drinking the Kool-Aid. It's it's amazing. It's also very easy to use and they have so many tutorials and and uh, video tutorials and just if, you, if you're not into doing video tutorials, they have, you know, an actual breakdown outline in right when you open up the program. So step by step, how to use it for what you want to use it for, you know, that kind of stuff. And you know, come on, you can Google it. It's, it's very easy. But I like to use this for organizing my notes because you can just file everything in nice little folders. And they're very easily accessible because one of my problems that I thought would be my problem with Scrivener is that I would have so many little notes here and there that I wouldn't be able to find them. And I would forget where I put them and but that actually didn't happen. It's actually organized very, very well. So Scrivener, if you haven't checked it out already, I'm sure you probably already have, but if you haven't, I love this. And number three, okay, I'm going, I'm a simple girl. I just like using Word, okay? I just like it. And what I use Word for is obviously to write my novel. I don't actually write my novel in Scrivener. I still write it in Word. I use Scrivener for outlining and notes. But Word I use for writing the actual manuscript and what I also have on Word is just a one page bullet outline. So I have my crazy long outline on Scrivener with chapters and scenes and this and that that I can really know exactly what I'm going to be writing the chapter. But I need a bullet outline with just one short sentence, like chapter one, short sentence, chapter two, short sentence, just so I can have reference and I can know where I am 
story-wise, if I want to veer off the outline, if I want to do other things, it's there for me, it's accessible, it's easy. What do you think, Snake? You think we should start a vlog together? What do you think, Snake? You think we should start a vlog together? Me and my cat? He's like, put me down. I'm so miserable right now. Why are you doing this to me? You're such a good kitty. <laughs> Woo! And there he goes. So, those are my top three writing apps that I use. I hope that they help. And especially if you're doing things that take over a long period of time or sometimes doing things in the past. Like I have you, especially with Eon Timeline, I have when I've done, when I've written short stories or, or scripts that have taken place in the past, it is really nice to have the timeline of big events that happened during that time. So I can have, you know, you know, if I'm doing something that takes place in the 40s and, and World War II is sort of the backdrop, I can then map out in the timeline each event that has happened that pertains to my story involving the war because I don't want to keep Googling it and researching it and going, oh, what was that again? Oh, what was that battle? Oh, crap. And what's, what, what country was that in? I think that wasn't, you know, all that little detail stuff that that is important but you don't need to memorize it and honestly sometimes putting it in a document it's just you end up the document ends up being 20 pages and then you're trying to find it and it's just meh. so Ian timeline boom 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 nice and laid out i can't say enough about this program i love it so that are my top three i hope you enjoyed this and i will see you in the next video bye